traders, FS Speculator here. Today is Tuesday, November 5th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. But first, don't forget to check out my website, fxpepcollector.com, if uh, you would like to get access to my swing trade signals, my members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trading course are included for only $30 per month. So we definitely had a very strong move to the downside as you can see, but I'm still not ruling out the possibility that this move down is a bear trap and this does go up and make that running or expanding flat. But by the looks of it, it definitely looks impulsive down. It looks like three waves up, which will probably lead to impulsive down. So more than likely, it probably will end up going down and taking out these previous two lows. So taking it down to the weekly time frame. So on the weekly time frame, it definitely looks like a double three pattern. It looks like one, two, three waves down one two three waves up that means to me that it's either going to make one two three waves down for like a wxy pattern or it's going to make one two three four five waves down for like a one two three four five kind of like a flat pattern Either way, let's take it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we definitely do have a break of structure that we've been waiting for. I personally think that does confirm this whole move down is over. Now, there's only two options now. Option number one is now we're in a crutch into this move down. So now we're in like some sort of an ABC crutch into this move down. We'll probably go up to one of these Fibonacci levels, which really it could be any one of them, and end up continuing down for that wave one, wave two, or wave A, wave B. So the trading strategy is exactly the same whether this is a 2 or a B, which most likely is three waves up to a Fibonacci retracement level. Now, option number two, even though I think it's less likely, is that this just keeps on trending up and eventually goes up and makes a new high. I do think this is the less likely scenario, but you never know. And ever since we got the break of structure, I will be looking for logs. So if it does keep going up, then that's not really going to be a problem. Going down to the 4 hour time frame, like I said, we got that break of structure now, so we should definitely be looking for logs. Now, there is a big gap on all the dollar pairs that still has not been filled, which I think probably will get filled today. This move up to me definitely looks impulsive, so I would just say that this move up is likely either the wave A or probably it's a wave 1 of wave A. Either way, I think it is probably going to go down, probably to complete a correction to this move up, which would likely be a wave B or possibly a wave 2 of wave A. So taking it right down to the one hour time frame, zooming back out a little bit, we definitely got five waves up as you can see. Like I just explained on the four hour, I think this is either the complete wave A or this is possibly a wave one of wave A. We got this big gap on the dollar pairs that definitely has not been filled yet, so I think there is a pretty good chance that this will fill the gap, probably go down to at least a 61%. I would expect this move down that we're currently seeing to be a cut into this move up. So most likely we're going to go down in some sort of an ABC of B or an ABC of 2. So definitely keep an eye on your Fibonacci levels, look for three waves down, look for a nice Fibonacci bounce to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. Now, today is the U.S. elections, so there's probably going to be lots of volatility today, probably lots of up and down and all around. So definitely be very, very careful. These U.S. elections are definitely going to cause lots of volatility. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked over here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.